segment where we talk about an artist and uh, that I follow and uh, we take a deep dive into their social media and if they have a place to purchase things we take a look at what, what we could buy. Today we're talking about Andrea Ordonez and um, hopefully I pronounced her last name correctly. I tried my best. Um, so I fall. I found out about her through another artist I follow, which I'll talk about at a later time. But today we're talking about Andrea. So she goes by the username Andias, and she is a artist that does uh, relief printing, which is a uh, old traditional technique that is a uh, Japanese woodblock printing, and you basically cut pieces of wood or linoleum and you basically um, pr you basically uh, put ink on part of it and then things will be shown depending on how it's uh, cut and um, she's inspired by Japanese pop culture and American pop culture is usually what she usually try, uh, what she usually in gets her inspiration from from. And if you follow her Instagram, you are always up to date on when her when she, what she's working on, and when she releases something new, you have a good opportunity to get it quickly. And um, she does some amazing work, and I definitely keep my eye out for something that really appeals to me that I have an interest in purchasing because I really do love this type of work. Um, so I know she has a Etsy page, so let's go take a look. Um, so she's done different thing, different ones. She's done a Tyranitor, and what's really cool is is that all her work is limited. So it's not like everything is reprinted and reprinted and reprinted. Some artists like to do that. Some like to have the the limited feel. You know, make it feel like it's more special. And uh, I think it's really cool that she limits everything to a number. It is a really interesting way to approach the, um, the collector, a way to make art be more a collector thing. Um, I definitely look forward to seeing what she creates in the future. And let's, let's take a look at some more. So she's done a Tusken Raider from Star Wars, which is pretty cool. This one's only one out of three. That's pretty cool. Um, she did Blastoise from Pocket Monsters. Um, so yeah, definitely come and check out her uh, Etsy page. And uh, she has some really cool work. And uh, she did, you know, like this uh, Vader and... Uh, and it takes a lot of skill to do the um, the colors because it's a multi-step process where you have to lay a color down and if you're doing it in a if you're doing it in a one one step at a time method and uh, instead of like remaking the the block over and over again then uh, as you go, it, the, the print becomes even more limited because if you mess up, you don't have an opportunity to go back. Um, so this is really cool. I don't, uh, so yeah. Let's see, let's take a look at another one. She did a, a golem, which is a pretty cool one. Uh, but yeah, definitely go to her Instagram page, give her a follow. Um, and, um, she also has a Twitter, which it, I was checking her Twitter. It looks like she posts about the same stuff. She may have a few different things, but she's, uh, based out of Miami and, um, Miami, Florida. And, uh, she actually helps a really cool dude named, uh, Peter or attack Peter, which I'll talk about at a later time, but, um, definitely come check out her work. And uh, let's see what she creates in the future. Thank you again for joining me on this episode of Art Bites, and uh, see you next time.